kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Okay, so I want to go through it real quick with you. All right, you have different tabs here, okay? So this is the flip, if you're looking to flip, okay? If you're looking to flip here, you can put your ARV here. The, the length of the project, whether it's six months, 12 months, your address here, okay? If I say I put an ARV of 180,000, okay? Now we're doing a purchase price of say 70,000. These are made up numbers by the way, all right? I, I I don't have a deal right now. If somebody's in the chat and wants to comment a, a deal that they have and want me to run it, by all means, we'll go from there. Rehab budget, all right? Say we have a rehab budget of, of 80,000, all right? So on eighty thousand, the closing or the closing costs on this, let's call it uh, twenty two hundred. All right, if we're paying all cash, it's twenty two hundred. All right, holding costs. These are your um, your interest rates, your every, anything like that. So your holding costs on this. This also could be your taxes. Okay, so we'll go with. Uh, say another 1500 for holding costs. All right. The reason why I didn't, I only put 1500 because I believe this is just for the taxes. Okay. Now I can put in hard money. All right. So what's the loan amount for the hard money? All right. Let's see here. Hard money loan amount. So admin fees, let's call it a thousand dollars for admin fees. All right. So hard money loan to value and slash ARV. So let's call it uh, one hundred forty thousand. No, that's 150,000. Oh, this is percentage. Sorry about that. 70%. So we'll do three points and we'll do, let's do 12% interest rate. All right. Now, Right now, you can see that this did the calculations. As it sits, this is not a deal. We put 10% profit and profit minimum is 20,000. Right now, our, our projected profit would be $13,960. This says no deal, all right? So with that, you can also put uh, gap lending in here, gap points. You can also do, if you want to do an equity split on the gap funding as well, you can bring that in here. Now, your ARV, this is this is one thing that, that it really helps with as well, is my resale number. If I go 10 grand below or, or 20 grand below, it tells me right here exactly the numbers it's supposed to be. If I go 10 or 20 grand uh, above what I'm thinking, this is the profit and uh, what I'm going to be selling it for. All right. So this is a great tool for anybody who wants to use it. Um, visit my website. It is randysteadwell.com under digital downloads. 
and it's called a deal analyzer okay so with this we also have a seller finance tool all right so the purchase price here okay so let's do a hundred thousand dollar property okay down payment we'll do 10 grand all right estimated rehab let's do 15 all right closing costs do 1500 all right what's our monthly payment our monthly payment is going to be uh let's look at so on a hundred thousand let's do 400 400 dollars a month okay now we can do a three percent interest rate was we can do six percent this number is arbitrary i'm going to tell you that uh it's just so you can have everything on the screen where you're going to get all your information from are these two links all right these two links is where you're going to get the information so if you want to get like a balloon payment for the next five years you can you can do that you click on this link and that's exactly where you'll get a balloon payment um, you put in the amount purchase so as well as the amount for the loan so you would do actually ninety thousand because you would put nine ten thousand dollars down okay and it would do the advertisation it would give you the balloon payment here okay and uh, then what we're going to do is you're going to do, what is the market rent? All right. So let's do a normal, like it's a three bedroom house. We'll go $1,400 a month. Okay. And we're going to do the, the calculated taxes. We'll do, let's say 3,500 because it's, the taxes just got uncapped. All right. Insurance we'll do about twelve hundred dollars for the year. Annual capital expenditures. Okay. This is I have this set to five percent, but you can change it to whatever it, bring it higher if if all you're doing is just a quick rehab, okay, and you know that the roof's gonna go later on. Okay. These numbers here are annually these numbers here are monthly it takes all that information gives you your estimated uh, monthly cash flow and this is your estimated yearly cash flow okay and then it has your total investment here with your return on investment this right here would not be a deal okay this right here would not be a deal because it's uh, only a 1.25 percent interest or uh, uh, ROI. So this is where you can fudge with the numbers a little bit. And what I mean by fudge with the numbers, I don't, uh, this is where you can try to figure out what offer best uh, fits what you need. Okay. Now for a buy and hold, we can do the same thing. We have, if this is the same calculator for buy and hold, but I have it, they are um seller finance versus buy and hold you can put the addresses in here you can create them new tabs you can create this being a new document so on and so forth okay as far as the, i have a rehab calculator okay and here we go so you can do all your rehab calculations okay through e each thing this it will total the total up here at the bottom and you can even add in new ones that's up to you that will bring your total estimate rehab over to the side here total estimate now if you wanted to do a quick estimate rehab what you want to do is put the square footage of the property say it's a 1236 square feet Okay. Then figure out what works in your neighborhood, in your market. Okay. If I'm just doing a light rehab, carpet paint, cleanup, so on and so forth. Okay. 
I'm probably going to be about $25 a square foot. Medium rehab. Okay, I'm going to need to make some, do some kitchen cabinets. So I'm going to need to do so, some things, but it's not really intensive. $35 a square foot. Now, large rehab, $45 a square foot. These are numbers you can change. Talk with your contractor. Okay, this is where you get good at listening. Talk with your contractor and you can change these accordingly. On here, this is a drop down menu. Okay. So you do medium, and I don't know why it's not showing the drop down menu, but there's also large, and you can see the number changes here. That goes based on these numbers. Okay. So you do the drop down menu, and that will get you light rehab, so on and so forth. That will get you at least somewhat there and a somewhat of an estimate before you go into a full uh, a full rehab, okay? So um, that will get you probably, this quick rehab will get you the offer. Then when you do your due diligence, that's when you're going to figure out all this, okay? I do recommend everyone doing their own due diligence no matter what, okay? But uh, this is a, in my opinion, like I wanted a great calculator for all of these options. For a seller finance, for a buy and hold, I also wanted it for uh, also a fix and flip, okay? So for the areas, you have to do your own due diligence on theirs, but the thing I like about the fix and flip is it adds gap funding. If you wanted to use other people's money in order to do the gap funding, this allows you, and this will calculate it in there and tell you whether it would be a good deal or not. Okay. 100%. So, um, I'm going to bring this down and I will show you, I'll bring up my website. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 